Surf's up, it's on. Judges, lawyers, and staff from the Ninth Circuit Court are Hawaii bound and on your dime. Pressure from Republican senators isn't stopping their Maui conference, a lavish tropical vacation that you will be paying for. The price tag, well, about a million dollars. But news tonight, news that the Ninth Circuit is feeling the heat. Senator Jeff Sessions is leading the charge against the court. We spoke with him earlier tonight. Senator, nice to see you, sir. Thank you. Well, it looks like you've uh, scared the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit as to next year's judicial conference because they've just announced they're canceling it. Well, I, I think it was good that they reevaluated that. They insisted um, that they've been doing the right thing with these conferences every year. Four out of the last nine have been in Hawaii. There are seven states in the circuit, so I think that was a bit expensive. So I do believe that this is progress. I don't think it hurt that it was on your program that it was discussed. Um, but this is progress, and they need to look and respond to some of the other inquiries we've made to the conference, too, about how expensive it is. All right. Now, these conferences, um, they first came out and justified the circuit executive uh, saying that they've, you know, that they've done every year. But if these are not mandatory. No, no one's requiring these circuits to hold these conferences. This is something that they do themselves, that there's an appropriation for it. They can do it, but they're not required to. They're authorized to hold conferences, and uh, most of the circuits are not doing a conference every year now. The Ninth Circuit has been having one every year. They're the biggest and most expensive uh, conference. So I think it's real good that they changed, but uh, it is not mandated. We do not have enough money to fund this country. We are in the worst financial co uh, crisis in our nation's history. Every department and agency has got to cut back, and that includes the courts. But there are a lot of other departments and agencies in denial about the seriousness of our debt situation. So I think it's just going to be a constant battle. All of us need to focus on how we can reduce waste, wasteful spending in our government. At the risk of alienating every judge in the country and every lawyer who goes to these, frankly, I think that they are a waste of time. If, if we really want to achieve what they're seeking to achieve, they can pick up the telephone. Um, they don't. They decide their cases themselves and what happens in the courtroom. They don't need con consultation at a, a spa in Hawaii. But uh, I probably you probably won't go as far as I do on that. <laughs> well, I have attended them as a United States attorney, and I've spoken to conferences. But yes, I do think uh, it is not a critical matter for the functioning of the courts. And the courts are, are facing tight budgets already. They'll get tighter, in my opinion, in the years to come. And uh, these are the kind of things you have to ask yourself, is this where we need to spend our limited resources? Chief Justice Roberts has uh, not said no to it, and two justices of the Supreme Court, Justice Alito and Justice Kennedy, are still going to attend the one that has not been canceled by the Ninth Circuit that's going to happen in a couple weeks in Hawaii. Should the Chief Justice uh, wave his two associate justices off and tell him that uh, this is a bad signal? Well, the conference has been set. Uh, the Chief Justice, perhaps he conveyed a wish that maybe next year they shouldn't have one. I don't know. Uh, he is a frugal manager of the court, and he does know the court has got to watch its spending. So I would hope that he would be an ally in the future in constraining the cost of these conferences. You and Senator Grassley sent a letter off to the Ninth Circuit um, in May asking specific answers about this August uh, conference and the amount of money. This is upwards, it's almost a million dollars that's being spent on taxpayer money. I can't remember the exact number. Are you satisfied with the responses you got of the Ninth Circuit as to what they're doing, why they're spending this money? No, we're not. Um, Senator Grass and I ask, I think, reasonable questions. One of the fundamental questions we asked was, let's see the contract that you have. They say they can't breach the contract, and therefore they have to go forward with this year's conference. But we'd like to see. Well, they the don't have to go. I mean, they. I mean, they could. I mean, if, I mean, I'm sure that there's a cancellation fee, but it's not nearly as expensive as what it's going to cost to have the conference. Well, that's true. Uh, but I do say that we. I think Congress would be entitled to see the contract uh, that uh, the court uh, executed with taxpayer money funded by the United States Congress. So we've not gotten that, and there have been some other questions we've asked that we really believe should be answered and have not been. Well, you got a letter today from uh, Linda Lingo, who was the Republican governor of Hawaii. She's running for the United States Senate on the Republican Party, and she sent a letter to you and, and Senator Grassley um, about, uh, about sort of waving you off, being a little critical of uh, these conferences in Hawaii, I guess. She recognizes the financial impact to her state. 
Well, I guess uh, she's been governor and she likes to have tourism in Hawaii and they're advocating for it and don't want to see tourism collapse. But I think uh, overall this judicial conference needs to ask themselves, do they need to have it four times out of nine years in Hawaii. Uh, some of the other states would probably like to have conferences held in those states and would probably be less expensive. I take it there's a big difference in your mind between conferences held in Hawaii that are done by private enterprises and conferences held in Hawaii on the taxpayer dime. I assume that there's a difference. There's absolutely a difference. Maybe some private businesses have the money to go to uh, conferences every year and to more expensive locations, but we don't. This country is short of money. We're borrowing 40 cents of every dollar that we spend. 40 percent of the one million dollar conference in Hawaii is borrowed money. And it's not a healthy thing. It's not going to get better anytime soon. And all of us are going to have to tighten our belts. Well, you saved us from next year's Judicial Conference in Monterey, California, so you got that for us. Thank you, Senator. Thank you.